Okay, so let's begin and let me show you what we have set up here. First of all, you see the manufacturing arm that's doing um, its work. Then you also have the uh, local communication. This is a sonic wall firewall with uh, LAN ports and a single wide area network port. We have over here the uh, temperature sensor. This is a Raspberry Pi with a sense hat. It is uh, running software, the Raspbian operating system, and it's basically measuring temperature and pressure uh, every second and sending that information to both uh, the edge gateway and off to the power controller. The edge gateway is another Raspberry Pi running the AWS Greengrass Core. It's basically doing forwarding uh, between the sensor, which is a publisher, and the power controller, which is a subscriber. We're using MQTT. And then lastly, we have our third Raspberry Pi. That's the power controller, and it's receiving messages from the temperature sensor forwarded by the gateway. And I have written a rule that if the temperature exceeds 38 degrees Celsius, then this will trigger a pin high, pin 17, which will toggle a, the, the power control on this power control device, which will then turn off the power to the, uh, the robot. And what I'm using as my uh, heat source is just an incandescent lamp. And so what I'm doing now is just increasing the temperature on uh, the temperature sensor. And as it goes, it's pretty warm here. So when it goes up from 35 to 36 to 37, as soon as it uh, is exceeds 38 degrees, it'll trigger uh, an event in the power control. So right now these messages are just being packaged up and being sent to the power controller once uh, every second. And there we go, the power goes off, and that as the temperature goes back down again, it goes on. And again, let me turn the, uh, te make the temperature go up, and it should go back on in a moment. So there you go. All right, so let me turn uh, this back on again. What I want to show you is, just to prove that this is running autonomously, I'm going to take the, um, the wide area network connection, and disconnect it and I'm going to try the same demonstration over again. So again what I'll do is I'll go and I'll heat up uh, the temperature sensor and as soon as it gets hot it goes off and again the messages work uh, and the control takes place autonomously.